in the previous chapters, we've talked about how, for example, we can detect sound and bring that sound to the brain through these auditory nerves. And we talked about how we can detect light and bring that light to the brain via optic nerves, right? But we haven't actually discussed what these nerves are or what these receptors actually look like. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video because we're going to be talking about nerves. And the dot point itself says identify that nerves is a bundle of neural fibers. So that's more or less the answer is what are nerves? Nerves are a bundle of neurons. Obviously, I probably won't satisfy you in terms of what you want to know about neurons. So I'm going to talk a bit more about them. But that's basically what nerves are, a bundle of neurons. But the next question would be what exactly is a neuron? And that's what we're going to cover now as well. So neurons are the units of the nervous system. Right? So basically, the nervous system is made up of these different types of neurons. There's three neurons, three types of neurons, a motor neuron, a sensory neuron, and an interneuron. Now, these sensory neurons would be, for example, your photoreceptors. Any, any receptor would be an example of a sensory neuron. Right? Sensory means it senses. Receptors detect that change, so they are sensory neurons. And we've got these intermittent neurons or interneurons. These are the ones that will then get that message towards different parts of the body. So, for example, the optic and the auditory nerve are interneurons. They're made up of interneurons because they're not one interneuron. They're made up of an interneuron because they have to send that message to the brain. Right? So what is a neuron generally made up of? All these three have one thing in common or have a few things in common. And they generally have a cell body, right? So a cell body is where the nucleus is. Nucleus is obviously important for um, replication, even though neurons actually don't replicate, they, they stay the same the whole time. But the nucleus still needs to be able to make different things, even though it's not used for replication that much. It's used to make different proteins that the actual cell needs. Um, so that's the nucleus. Then it has mitochondria, which are there for ATP synthesis, right? So the cell body itself is just this part here, which is re responsible for the everyday action of the cell. And you can see a motor neuron, a sensory neuron, or a interneuron, they all have that cell body, which they need to be able to function properly. So every single sing single neuron has that. Um, in terms of the dendrites, which are these parts here, these are the parts that come off and connect one neuron to the other neurons. So these dendrites are important. You can see a um, motor neuron has one. They have these dendrites, which are come off the cell body. The interneurons have it as well. But the sensory neurons are a bit different. They actually have a receptor cell, which is where they detect the light as opposed to these dendrites. They don't have as many dendrites as the other, other neurons have. They have more of a receptor cell, which we'll talk about in a second, because they have different function to both motor neurons and interneurons. So we've said so far that they all have cell bodies. And then the motor neuron and the interneuron have plenty of dendrites which connect your different um, connective neurons. Then they all have an axon, which is this long tail. That's the axon. And you can see the axon again, motor neuron, um, sensory neuron, and interneuron all have these axes. Axon, sorry, axon. So the axon is just that long tail. And that makes sure that the, the signal can be transmitted. So the signal can be transmitted from one end to the other, and that happens through these axons. Now there's these myelin sheets as well. These are here. You can see them here, here, and even though you can't see it with in the case of the interneuron, they also have these sheets. That just makes sure that the electrical impulse can't leave. Electrical impulse wants to go from the head to the tail, right? And these myelin sheets make sure that it can't escape to the sides. It doesn't just leave the actual neuron. Uh, so that's why they these axons are there. Sorry, these myelin sheets, these little parts. Then we have these nodes of, of Ravier. They'll be important. We won't discuss in much detail now, but they're just there to make sure we can have action potentials happen because they happen at these nodes of Ravier. We've, we've got Schwann cells on the actual uh, myelin sheets. And then on the back, we have axon terminals, which are, if you, if you imagine, for example, the axon head and the dendrites would be like our head and our hair then the axon terminals will be our feet. Right? So a signal gets sent from the head all the way to the bottom, to the axon terminals. So through the dendrites, the signal will come, it will go through the axon, and eventually it will go to the next neuron at the axon terminals. So what I mean by this, and I'll give you an example of how all this works, is photoreceptors. Right? So what I'm going to be talking about now 
is what happens in our eye. So we've got light coming in. Remember, light will pass the retina. This is the retina. This whole thing here is the retina, these, these cells. It'll pass the retina. It will go towards rods and cones. It will activate a rod and cone. So this part here is the light reaching a rod or cone. So the photoreceptor would be, for example, our rods and cones. They're getting activated. So light is actually being detected by this part here, which is the, the photo, the receptor cell. It gets detected. Then the signal gets sent through electrical impulses. It's down, gets sent down to the bottom. And these are the axon terminals. This was the end of the actual axon, uh, sorry, of the actual neuron. And there's something called neurotransmitters. We're going to talk about them more in a second, or in the next couple of videos. The neurotransmitters are a chemical, which then makes sure that the signal gets jumped from one to the other, right? So here we have chemicals after the, the signal is gotten to the back, so the action terminals. We've got chemicals released, which will activate the next neuron. Then the signal now is sent to the, the interneuron, which will do the same thing again. It will go for the axon, go to the back, and then there's going to be another one attached to next axon terminals, and this, the message will get sent to the next and to next and to next. So for example, we've got one of these um, rods or cones being activated. It will send a signal to a bipolar or ganglion cells. These would be examples of interneurons, right? These are the ones that will just grab the message and send it on to the next one. So here, the top one were the receptor cells, the receptor neurons, or sensory neurons, and then they will send a signal on to the actual interneurons, such as the bipolar or ganglion cells, and then eventually the signal will end up in our brain. Right? So what these neurons are, they just make sure signals get sent from one part to the next. And I'll go into more of all of this, I'll go into more detail, don't freak out, it's not nothing, the actual dot point is quite simple, I'll go over the dot point, what you need to know about the dot point. So the dot point says identify, which means, in this case, recognize, so recognize the nerve, nerve is a bundle of neural fibers. So all you need to know here, okay, is that this here is a nervous cell or a neuron, they have these axons, these long axons, and we call these axons, because they're long, we often call them neural fibers, neural fibers, fibers is a long kind of strand, so it's, it's part of the axon, so the whole thing would be neural fiber. So if you look at this, for example, each part here, this whole thing is a bundle of nerves, right, so it's called, a, sorry, it's a nerve, and it's a bundle of neural fibers. So each part here, the one I've highlighted and all the other ones, these are all examples of these neural fibers. So you can just imagine it's a long axon. So we've got lots of these long axons. They all come together in a bundle. So when we talk about nerve, it's not just one neuron, it's a lot of neurons. And in between these neurons, you also have, for example, connective tissue that just keeps them in place, that keeps them, keeps them in place. And we have blood vessels as well, right? So in between these spaces, the blood, obviously we need to have blood supply to our uh, neurons. So if they've got blood supply, they have things that keep them in place. That's all in this bundle, in this nerve. But the nerve itself, is just lots of these, these real fibers connected with blood and held together by connective tissue, right? That's what we call a nerve. So for example, if you pinch your nerve, that doesn't mean you pinch only one neuron. That means you pinch a whole lot of neurons. And, um, so yeah, the, and one more thing, when it comes to these length of these neurons, yeah, they can actually be really long. Like sometimes in one neuron, or especially the axon, which is the long part, can be up to a meter long. So you can imagine this axon is not just very short, it could be a meter long. So you can have one actual neuron stretching from, for example, your spinal cord all the way to your fingers or to your feet. That's how long they can be. So the dot point itself just identified that a nerve, so when we talk about a nerve, it's this bundle of neural fibers. And these neural fibers are just your long axons that are by the, at the end connected to a head. So this is it's the nerve, neural neuron head, and it has these dendrites sticking off. And on the back it has this axon terminal. We're going to cover this more in the next couple of videos. And it also has these myelin sheets. You do, I don't think you actually need to label any. I've never seen a label question, but it's possible there is one. And here these is these are your, your nodes of Ravier, right? But we'll talk about this in a bit more detail. But yeah, just know that neurons are nerves, and nerves are sorry, nerves are a bundle of neural fibers, and neural fibers are just your different individual neurons. I hope that was useful.